High Call series. Okay, children. Now we have uh, completed the text part and the grammar part, and now it is time for the skill-based activities, right? So in this lesson, we will start with the uh, let's read. There will be passage which we need to practice reading, right? So it will be played, read once for you, and then I will read it again. And after that, there will be uh, time for you to practice it, okay? Read the following passage. The Indian women's cricket team has many good players. The team played the first match in 1976 to 1977 with West Indies in a six-match series. The team won its first Asia Cup in 2004. It won three more Asia Cups after that. The Indian women's cricket team reached the finals of 2005 World Cup, losing to Australia in the final match. The current captain of Indian women's cricket team is Mithali Raj. The team has played many test matches, one-day international matches and T20 matches under various captains. Okay, so you have uh, uh, listened to the reading of the passage. Now I'll read it again and after that I will let you have the time to read the passage, right? The Indian women's cricket team has many good players. The team played the first match in 1976-1977 with West Indies in a six-match series. The team won its first Asia Cup in 2004. It won three more Asia Cups after that. The Indian women's cricket team reached the finals of the 2005 World Cup, losing to Australia in the final match. The current captain of Indian women's cricket team is Mithali Raj. The team has played many test matches, one day international matches and T20 matches under various captains. Right? So I've read this and I will read now line by line. So what you need to do is you need to read the passage after me. Okay? The Indian women's cricket team has many good players. The team played the first match In 1976-1977 with West Indies in a six-match series. The team won It's the first Asia Cup in 2004. It won three more Asia Cups after that. The Indian women's cricket team reached the finals of two thousand five World Cup, 
losing to Australia in the final match. The current captain of Indian women's cricket team is Mithali Raj. The team has played many test matches, one day international matches, and T20 matches under various captains. Okay, so now I'll keep the screen for a while for you to read the passage, right? Read it carefully, thoroughly. Okay, have you read it? Fine, we will then go to the next one. Yeah. We have got some questions from this passage that we have read. So that we can check how far we have understood this passage. So when did the Indian women's cricket team play the first match with West Indies? So when did the Indian women's cricket team play the first match with the West Indies? Yeah, the team played the first match with the West Indies in 1976-1977 during that time. Okay, second question. Which cup did the Indian women's cricket team win in 2004? Which cup? Yeah, the Indian women's cricket team win Asia Cup in 2004. The Indian women's cricket team win the Asia Cup. The third question. How many Asia Cups has the team won in all? So how many Asia Cups did the Indian team win? It won one Asia Cup in 2004. It won Three more. So how many are there? Yes, the team won four Asia Cups. How many? The team won four Asia Cups. Now the fourth question. Which team defeated the Indian women's cricket team in the World Cup 2000 final? Which team defeated the Indian women's cricket team in the World Cup 2005 final? So we have seen that after India has won four Asia Cups and it also reached the finals of 2005 World Cup but India didn't win the World Cup because India lost the match to whom? Yes, India lost the match to Australia, isn't it? So Australia defeated the Indian women's cricket team in the World Cup 2005 final. 
okay so australia defeated the indian women's cricket team in the world cup 2005 final right who is the current captain of the team team means a yeah indian women's cricket team so who is the current captain of the team the current captain of the team indian women's cricket team is mithali raj so as far as the passage is concerned it is mithali raj okay yeah so the current captain of the indian women's cricket team is mithali raj right so we have read the passage we have understood it and we have checked how far we have understood the passage also right fine so now we will go on to the next one let's practice yeah. so follow your teacher while he or she is saying the pronoun and pronounce the words given so we know we use this uh, particular combination of uh, o o <clears throat> isn't it o o o o u so these letters or letter combinations can make two different sounds the first one is u the short one okay u this is the symbol for the sound U in English, right? And this is U, right? U, okay? So these words have to be pronounced with a short U, whereas these have to be pronounced with a long U, right? So how do you pronounce this word? L O O K, look. B O O K book P U T put H O O K hook C O O K cook here B O O T T boot H O O T hoot R O O T root F O O D food S H O O T shoot okay so I will pronounce these, you need to tell it after me. Fine. L O O K look. B O O K book. P U T put. H O O K hook. C O O K cook b o o t boot h o o t hoot r o o t root f o o d food S H O O T shoot. Right? So now we will compare these two sounds. Look, boot, book, hood, put, root, hook, food, cook, shoot. Okay? Again. Okay. Look, boot, book, hood, put, root, hook, food, cook, shoot. Okay, so now I'll keep the screen the same for a minute. You can uh, read and practice the sounds again. Okay.
right children so now we'll go on to the next one let us converse right so here is a conversation we will uh, listen to this conversation first over here and then we will have the wordings of this particular conversation for us to practice right shalini rafi i went to watch a cricket match yesterday really how was the match it was good where was the match played at pirosha kotla stadium okay did you enjoy it of course i did okay so now uh, i'll display the wordings of this thing this particular conversation and you need to need to read that and then enact that conversation with one of your partner right fine we will go on to the next one so it's a rhyme time now read aloud the following poem and then recite it in groups so here is a poem and uh, i will play the poem first for you and once we complete the poem the situation here i will uh, uh, give you the wordings of this particular poem and then we can uh, practice it okay So listen to the poem first. The match soon started. The bowlers bowled. The batsmen batted. As the spectators loudly cheered, the little girl intently watched with wide open eyes. She no doubt was most excited to hear the shouts and cries. When the match got over, she smiled and looked around. in her mind it would hover the joy and thrill that she has found okay so have you read the poem so have you listened to the poem okay now i'll give you the wordings of this poem and then we will practice it also Okay, we will move on to the next one. A rhyme time continues. Yes, spot out the rhyming words in the poem. So, what is the rhyming words? Yeah, cries, eyes, over, over. Okay. so these kinds of uh, words are the rhyming words see here started batted bowled little cheered watched eyes watched excited tit eyes cries over hover around found so these are the rhyming words means the ending sound will be the same started excited bowled watched okay so here we have two pairs of words a cries is a one and eyes matches with that over is a one and hover matches with that 
okay so what are the words cries eyes hover over okay so they are the rhyming words Now we'll move on to the next two one. Answer the following questions orally. So who cheered the players when the match was going on? Who cheered the players? The spectators cheered the players when the match was going on. The spectators cheered the players when the match was going on. So who cheered the players? The spectators cheered the players, right? Second question. Who was most excited while watching the match? Who was most excited while watching the match? The little girl was excited while watching the match. Who was excited the most? The little girl was excited the most while watching the match. Okay? Read the question and the answers once and then we will go on to the next part. Okay, now we'll go to the next question. Match the words that have a similar meaning. So what do we call the words with the similar meanings? We call them synonyms, right? So what are synonyms? Synonyms are the words which have got a similar meanings, right? So here in the words list we have four words and in the synonyms list we have their synonyms also. So for every word there is one synonym over here, right? So what we need to do is to identify that the synonym and match them, right? Okay, so for started observed thrill began isn't it so starting is beginning okay so starting means beginning so we match it right watched watched means observed isn't it watching observing watch observed Excited is thrilled, <clears throat> isn't it? Excited is a thrilled. Excited is thrilled and joy is a happiness. Right? So what is the synonym for started? Began. What is the synonym for watched? Observed. What is the synonym for excited? Thrilled. What is the synonym for joy? Happiness. Okay, started, began, watched, observed, excited, thrilled, joy, happiness. Right? So I'll keep the screen the same for a minute. You can uh, go through the words once again.
Okay. <clears throat> so now we will move on to the next one. A writing skills. So copy the following passage in neatly in your notebook. Add full stops and uh, write the capital letters wherever required. Right. So here is a sentence given here. That sentence doesn't have any capital letters to be used or full stops. So where do we use the capital letters? Capital letters are usually used in the beginning of the sentence and whenever there is a proper noun. Proper noun means ah, the name of a particular person, place or a thing. Okay, that is called a, a proper noun. Right? So that is where we have to use a capital letter in the beginning of the sentence or in the beginning of a cap, uh, proper nouns. Full stops we use at the end of every sentence, isn't it? Full stops are used at the end of every sentence, right? So now we need to copy this sentence down and uh, add full stops and the capital letters wherever required, right? So we will uh, check it once. Yeah. See, the bowling of drums and the shouting of the spectators filled the air. Okay with some kind of magic so magic here is a full stop right now uh, the bowling the starting of the sentence so t has been a capital so magic is the end of the sentence so we have put a full stop over here Hari and Suman had never been to a stadium before to watch a cricket match so Hari and Suman Hari is the name of a particular person. Sumat is the name of a particular person. So both should have a, yes, starting with the capital letter, right? So Hari, H becomes capital. Sumat, the S become capital. Had never been to a stadium before to watch a cricket match. So here, match is where the sentence ends, isn't it? Match is where the sentence ends. So we have a full stop here. It was a completely new experience for them. It was. I becomes a capital because. Yes, that is the beginning of a sentence. Right. So that being the beginning of a sentence. I has become capital. And the end. It is an exclamation mark used here. Okay. It was a completely new experience for them. So, uh, it has got some exclamation in that. Some kind of a wonder kind of a stuff in that. So, that is why we have used that exclamation mark. Right? So, the bowling of the drums and the shouting of the spectators filled the air with some kind of magic. Full stop. Harry and the Suman had never been to a stadium before to watch a cricket match full stop it was a completely new experience for them exclamation mark right so that is how we have to use it capital letters and full stops now i will uh, keep the screen the same for a minute for you to read it and understand it okay Okay, now we'll move on to the next one. Writing skills composition. Complete the following sentences by adding appropriate words by yourselves. Okay, so half of a sentence is given here. Half are given here. Now what we need to do is drag and drop the correct options. Right? What we need to do? 
we need to drag and drop the correct options right so what are the options given here there were black clouds in the sky a big round of applause around the cricketer with excitement eager to watch the celebrity there were five balls remaining and 10 runs to 10 runs were needed for a win okay so now we will start to keep them one by one within a few minutes within a few minutes yeah there were black clouds in the sky the crowd was eager to watch the celebrity it was a time for a big round of applause at the end there were five balls remaining and 10 runs were needed for a win they gathered around the cricketer with excitement so yes right so within a few minutes there were black clouds in the sky the crowd was eager to watch the celebrity it was time for a big round of applause at the end there were five balls remaining and 10 runs were needed for a win they gathered around the cricketer with excitement okay so now you have a minute time to go through these uh, sentences. Okay, the next one is a homework, you will do it over here itself, don't worry. Complete the following passage by filling in appropriate words. So there is a paragraph given, there are some blanks kept over there. Uh, some options are also given there. We need to identify the suitable words from the options and then uh, fill up the blanks okay so the match dash with the bowling of dash hari dash sumant uh, dash extremely happy to them it dash a dash experience like others they dash also dash the caps dash slogans dash of the daily team okay so options we have were and new bought was and started had support irfan patha right so the match obviously started with the bowling of irfan patha hari and sumant were extremely happy to them it was a new experience like others they had also bought the caps and the slogans support of Delhi T yes okay 
So the match started with the bowling of Irfan Pathan. Hari and Sumant were extremely happy. To them, it was a new experience. Like others, they had also bought the caps and the slogans supporting support of Delhi team is the answer. Right? So now I will keep the screen for a while. You can uh, read the sentence once again. Okay. Project work. Go through the newspapers and collect a clipping of a cricket match that was played recently. Paste it in your notebook. Underline the names of cricketers mentioned in it and copy the names into in your notebook. You may add the names of a few more cricketers that you know. So what you need to do is, see, whenever there is a cricket match, the next day its report will be published in the newspaper, isn't it? Yes, obviously that will be published. So you need to collect one particular news of a cricket match and paste it in your project notebook. And you need to identify the names of the cricket players mentioned in that news. For example, if it is a match between India and Australia, the names of Indian and Australian players will be mentioned in that, no? That you need to write in your notebook. And uh, some other names also, whose names you know most well, has to be written in that. Okay? So that's something you can do yourself because, yeah, once when the lockdowns and all these kinds of things get over, the matches will start again and then... If not, if you have any old newspapers back at home, you can make use of that also, no problem. Value corner, life skills. So what have we learned from this particular lesson? Remember, winning or losing is not important, but participation is what matters. How sporty spirit in any competitions or academics. See, when two teams play or two people play, only one can win and one will definitely lose. So winning or losing has to be taken secondary. Okay, if we lose this time, we need to understand, okay, there was a problem with the way I prepared it or the way I played it. Okay, so we have to identify those areas, rectify that. And get double stronger for the next time. Right? We have to get ourselves ready in that way. Okay? It's not that somebody can always win and somebody has to lose always. No. Identify the flaws, the mistakes, the grey areas or the weak points that we have. Rectify those and try hard. Definitely, we will win. But the most important thing is, see, there are so many people. If there are 30 or 40 students in your class, will all the students come and join and participate in any kind of competition? No. But if you are ready to go and participate, even that is great because everybody cannot participate even. There are a lot of people who cannot even participate in many of these kind of competitions. Such that we should be proud that uh, I was able to participate. Have sporting spirit in any competition or academics. Yeah, it's not in about any competitions. In academics also. Academics means studies. Okay. So if your friend got first rank. Okay. You got second rank. Think, in which subjects did you lose the marks? What is the problem with that particular subject? You can ask the help of your parents or teachers and work hard on that. Definitely you will. You also can. 
It's not that only I should get the first rank. No problem. Even if your student gets a first rank, no problem. Okay. So we have to take them in a sportive spirit. Sometimes your friend may work harder than you. Okay. So we need to appreciate each other. Okay. We need to take everything in a sportive spirit, a sportsman spirit. Right. So that is the value corner or the life skill that we have learned from this particular lesson and uh, these things we need to follow in our life also not only in the schools but uh, these things that we learn in this uh, value corner or life skills areas are very important for us in our life also so we need to keep that in our mind in our life ahead right so that is from this lesson and uh, we will meet in the next class with a new lesson. Okay. So till then, take care.